Reach for the Stars How I Became an Astronaut The Story of Stephanie D. Wilson By Stephen Schutz Curiosity I was just like any other child. I was very curious, liked to travel, and always asked a lot of questions. Enthusiasm In eighth grade, a homework assignment changed my life. Our teacher asked us to talk to grown-ups with interesting jobs. I spoke with an astronomer. The astronomer was bursting with enthusiasm as he talked about the millions of stars in the sky. That's when I became interested in space and decided I wanted to be an astronaut. Education I worked hard in school. My parents and teachers encouraged me to have faith in my abilities and to follow my dreams. My favorite subjects in school were science, languages, and music. I also became more interested in space travel. Practice After college, I was honored to be chosen to join the astronaut training program at NASA. As I trained, I practiced many new skills over and over again until I could do them well. Excitement At last, I was ready to go into space. On the day of the launch, I was very excited. I walked out of the building where we lived for a few days prior to the launch wearing a 35-pound launch and entry suit. I had exercise to stay strong and ate healthy foods including fruits and vegetables. That's why I had plenty of energy. The space shuttle needed a different kind of energy. Energy Lift off. Big blasts of energy from the rocket engines push the space shuttle up and lift it off of the ground. The shuttle must fly extremely fast to go around the Earth. That's why the rocket engines keep blasting for lift off. They stop once we reach space. Atmosphere the atmosphere is the thin layer of air that wraps around the Earth. The space shuttle flies high above the atmosphere. Can you guess how long it takes to get into space above the atmosphere? Only eight and a half minutes. Along the way, the empty solid rocket engines and large fuel tank drop off and fall back to Earth. Orbit. It's amazing. The space shuttle can fly 250 miles above the ground. But compared to the size of the Earth, it doesn't seem very high at all. Why doesn't the shuttle fall down? Unlike a ball that falls back down to the ground, the shuttle flies so fast it actually falls around the Earth. The shuttle's path is called its orbit. Weightlessness Once the space shuttle goes into orbit, everything floats. It doesn't matter if you're upside down or right side up. Wonder I can't believe this is a picture of me in space. We all learn in school that the Earth is round, but it's amazing to actually see it with your own eyes. Mission Our mission included delivering a new section to the International Space Station. Children from around the country submitted names for this new section. Harmony was the winning name. My job was to use a special robotic arm to move Harmony from the cargo bay. Friendship We made friends 
Our crew of seven worked together with three astronauts already on the International Space Station. This group included astronauts from Italy and Russia. Peggy was the commander of the International Space Station, and Pam was the commander of the space shuttle. Success. Returning to Earth is not easy. The space shuttle moves much faster than a normal airplane. As it comes down, it rubs against the air and gets very, very hot. The bottom of the shuttle is covered with special tiles to protect it from the heat. If the tiles weren't there, it would burn up. Dream. I still dream. I dream about the millions of stars and planets. I dream about the different kinds of life forms that might be living out there somewhere. What is your dream? You should follow the dream that lies within your heart.